YouTube fam, I hope you all doing well by His grace, and I thank God for His mercies and protection over our lives. So, as you can see from the topic, I want us to discuss a, th a few things about be the struggles of being in a broken home. So, without wasting much time, let's dive right into the video. So guys, hmm, being in a broken home is not an easy thing. From a, I'm talking from experience. I am from a broken home. My mom and dad got divorced or separated. Or I don't, I don't even know how to put it. You see, in the olden days, there wasn't like weddings and those things, the traditional marriage type. So they got married, had my, my elder brother, had me... And when I was two months, he left my mom when I was a two-month-old baby. And my mom has been a single parent since that day. Hmm. It has not been easy. If I tell you it has been easy, I'll be a liar. Some people see me and they say, Hey, Abna, you are a lucky girl, oh. You are a very lucky girl. But they don't know what it means to be in a broken home and the struggles of being in a broken home it is very very difficult especially when you're the only person taking care of you is also struggling to do so to, to make ends meet and i thank god i have a mom who is so hard working and who can kill herself for her children my mom is such a person that eh, even if it's in her mouth, she will remove it and give it to you. I really, really thank God for her life. And she she single she single handedly took care of my brother, my elder brother and I from infancy till now. By God's grace, we are all doing one thing or the other. We are we are we are not well to do, but we are struggling to make ends meet. Everybody is working. My mom still does everything in her power to ensure we are comfortable. That woman, only God will bless her. And I always say that mothers are the best, especially when you have a God-fearing mother behind you. Everything moves on smoothly for you. She's always fasting and praying for us. Oh my days. God bless you, mom, wherever you are. One of these days, I'll bring her to this channel so that she will share her life story with us to encourage single mothers who are striving to put to, to make ends meet who are also striving to put food on the table for their children being in a broken home is very difficult in the sense that when my dad and my mom got separated or divorced he, he he didn't my dad never turned back he didn't even say i have kids so i have to take care of my kids no he left all the responsibility on my mom everything concerning our, our, our eating our clothing our schooling everything was left on my mom she, my mom had to shoulder everything she had to shoulder everything on her own my dad left and never looked back he never looked back and i always ask my mom the reasons behind him leaving but that that is a story for another day it's a family issue so i don't want to delve into that one here every child needs both parents in their lives so if one of the parents is absent from that child's life imagine what 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 it happens what it causes to the psychic of the child you see what a man can do is different from what a woman can do in terms of upbringing you see in the society fathers are the ones who instill discipline that is in the african society i don't know about those living abroad or the the whites 
in the African society, fathers are people who instill discipline, who make sure the children are, are well disciplined and are good, are, are good products of the society. You understand? And a mom takes care of the home whenever the dad is not around. That's the African society. So in this case, when the dad is not around and the mom is only taking that responsibility of the father and the mother, it's very difficult. It is very difficult. So in my case, my mom was the dad, my mom was the mom, my mom was everything to us. She, she, she took the responsibility of a dad and a mom as well. So you can imagine, you can imagine the, the stress and the struggles of my mom <laughs> it's not easy on us it wasn't easy on my brother and i too when i say it wasn't easy i, di I don't mean we we starved or i'm not talking about physical things i'm talking about emotional emotional things it wasn't easy on on i can't talk to my brother i can't speak for my brother but for myself it wasn't easy it wasn't easy because i Inwardly, I needed my dad. Every girl needs her dad. Every girl needs her dad. You, you can say, oh, no, no, no. It shapes, it, it really shapes a girl. If your dad is, is so present in your life and does everything, takes care of his responsibilities as the dad, it shapes your life positively. I can tell you that. I can attest to that through my 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 friends to some of my friends yeah whose dads are present in their lives and i didn't have my dad in my life but my mom tried her best to 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 fill that vacancy of a dad in my life she, she made sure we didn't lack she made sure our needs were met i remember a time she she barbed all her hair so that she can pay her fees she, she didn't even have the time to go to the salon to make her hair she was always in scarf she was always in scarf and when she travels when she goes for her business trips and she comes back she never buys anything for herself she's always thinking about our well-being i remember i was we were put in preparatory school we were put in a preparatory school we we, we didn't we didn't attend a public school my mother never said uh, because my dad is absent in our lives and she doesn't have anything she will take us to a public school i'm not saying a public school is bad public school there are a lot of public schools in ghana that are very good the children learn a lot but in those days during those days now as for now the public schools are doing are picking up but in those days it wasn't that good children of public schools weren't that smart in terms of academics and those things and they were always playing around during classes hours so my mother saw this and realized that if she takes us to such schools our education wouldn't be the best so she wanted the best for us that's my mom for you so she was she was struggling when i say struggling hmm it wasn't easy and she she never wanted us to know she was struggling sometimes when she she doesn't have money she will not she will never tell us that she doesn't have money she will never tell us but sometimes i can feel it i can feel it from her looks that she doesn't have money but she will never tell you that she doesn't have money all she will say is god will provide god will. and indeed the lord provided so coming from a broken home has has dealt with my emo emotional being and emotional instability towards men. For instance, my dad left and never looked back. So I have I always have this notion that men are deceitful. Men, men are irresponsible. So to keep the long story short, being in a broken home is very devastating. Even if the other parent tries his or her best to make sure you are happy you don't lack emotionally you become unstable 
because you need you need your dad in your life you need your mom in your life so if your mom is absent if or if your dad is absent in your life it is very difficult and i thank god my mom was the best of all mothers and she still is the best of all mothers that's that's my own opinion your mom can also be the best but my mom is the best of all in homes affects the kids more than the parents because when a, a broken home occurs and the other party is not gainfully employed or the other party is not a responsible person or individual that the children end up suffering a lot you can imagine what will happen to the kids their education will, will be will be will be a disaster I don't think they will even be able to continue their schooling. I don't think they will be able to become what they wanted to become. If the marriage doesn't work, the other party has to be involved in the in the children's life. If your dad, if the, the, the husband leaves the wife, the husband has to take up his responsibilities because it is not the fault of the children. It is not that they didn't beg you people to bring them into the world. So if you leave their mom or if the mom leaves the dad, they have to come to a compromise because of the children. Because my mother is a staunch Christian and she brought us up in the Christian way. So it, it helped to shape my life positively. She was always advising us. She was always talking to us and she always made sure our needs were met. So if my mom was a wayward woman or, or an irresponsible woman or someone who doesn't care about the welfare of their children, you could imagine where I would have been now. You see, some women dump the kids on the man when the man leaves. And it's very, very bad. The man will end up getting married to another woman. And if you dump the kids on the man, the, the other woman might end up maltreating your kids. It makes them psychologically imbalanced. That is why we see a lot of street kids around. All these street kids we are seeing are, are products of, most of them are products of broken homes. And some of them too are products of unwanted pregnancy. Teenage pregnancies. So, dumping your kids on the man when there is a separation or a divorce is not advisable if my mom had dumped my brother and i on my my dad when he left us i don't know where my life would have been by now i wouldn't be who i am today i wouldn't be who i am today probably i would be on the streets or probably i would be i would be pregnant